Tyson? Tyson? Tyson, what's wrong with you? Tyson. No, Tyson. Say it ain't so. No. Tyson. Joey Slam. What up, Slayers? We're back at it with another Slay Venture, and today we're looking at the pond right now. And if you tuned into the last episode, we were entrusted with a brand new little pet, a Fly River Turtle. Now that Fly River Turtle has been doing okay, but we have a little situation here. As we thought, Kitty's aggressive. And these catfish are aggressive. And I was looking at our little buddy Finn. He was swimming all the way up and I noticed that one of his fins was actually really messed up. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is capture Finn right here. Let's walk on this side, right on this side right here. And we're gonna be moving Finn into this gorgeous aquarium. Now what's really cool about this aquarium, there's nothing in it. It's perfectly cycled as well as a great place to get Finn nice and strong again, since I think he might be injured. As well as we can target feed him so he can get nice and big and strong, possibly start feeding him nice fruits, a different staple, because I don't wanna feed fruits into my pond and all of a sudden something happens with my pond and it's no bueno. So guys, as you can see right here, that fin is messed up and that back fin is a little messed up. So I have my trusty net right here, good to go. Oh, everyone's freaking out, freaking out. Come on, Finn, Finn, come inside. Come, come. Look at him go, look at him, he's so cute. Finn is so adorable. All right, he's in. All right, buddy, we're gonna go ahead and just put you down right here. How you doing, kiddo? I'm alone today. Unfortunately, but let's take a look at Finn. Oh my gosh, look at this face. It's a little cold outside it seems. Shrinking that head inside. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at him. Oh man, these things are such amazing animals. They're so adorable. Look at him. He's so cute. All right, let's examine him right now. Now, as you can see, unfortunately, it looks like he got a little beat up. Just a little bit. Not much. Let's see what, oh, he got chewed a little bit. Oh, buddy, we gotta get you all healed up there. And that other fin, let's look under. You look okay, you look good to go. But I'm telling you, man, you're gonna love this tank a lot better than that pond because it's nice and warm and you're gonna be able to swim freely and have a great life in here alone for now. Just for now, because we're taking care of you. Go, buddy, swim, swim, look at him. He is so cute. Hopefully he doesn't bang his nose everywhere and stuff like that. He'll get used to the tank and we'll be able to look at him, examine him, feed him some cool stuff. Look at him walk. How adorable. They're such interesting turtles. Such interesting turtles. They're like basically fully aquatic. It's like a baby sea turtle, legit. Freshwater baby sea turtle guys right here. I know it's like a double negative, but I mean, that's the best way to kind of compare him to anything else. Look at him, he's so cute. I love you. Why you, turn around. Turn around, we're talking to you. Turn around. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you look great. Sweet. All right, so now this is your new home. I hope you enjoy it, Finn. Chandler, I had to make sure that your Fly River Turtle was good to go. And we're taking care of this guy. We're pet sitting pretty much. And he has this beautiful tank to himself. He gets to swim around, eat all the berries, and feed him hay. Every time we don't give you attention, you get upset, buddy. Are you, you're good? So Finn's gonna be coming up right now for air. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come up, take a little. There you go, good job. So I'm gonna be keeping these lids off for now. So he has a lot of area to get some air until he gets comfortable. So guys, as you can see, based on the title of this video, there is something going on with Tyson, my peacock man, to shrimp. All right, Slayer, so I'm gonna show you guys something really quick. Right now, Tyson is going through molt. The camera can't pick it up, as well as I don't wanna harass him, because he doesn't really have many places to hide here. But they lay on their side just like this, until he can break through that shell. Oh my God, the camera quality is so bad. I'm so sorry. He's just in the perfect spot to hide where we can't really get like a good look at him. Let me see what I can do here. Oh, dude, this is terrible. I'm sorry, guys. So hopefully when we come back, we'll have two mantises. It'll be like a shell, and then the soft version of him. So what we have to do is make sure all the lights are off, even the house lights, and we're in the dark. So he can, uh, yeah, so we can have a good time. You guys can't see me, but we're, we're in the dark right now. 
for those who keep mantis shrimp, worry not, your mantis is not dead. It's just if they don't have many hiding spaces or like a den to create, this is what happens. They just mow out in the open just like this. He's hiding in here. He hasn't eaten in a few days because when they're about to mow, usually towards a full moon, they don't eat. But yeah, he's good. He can, he can see us and he's registering our movements with his eyes and everything. So he's good. But yeah, we cannot disturb him. Night night. So now he came out a little bit, but as you can see, the shell is almost broken completely right here. He's trying to get out. Do that little kick thing you were doing earlier. Come on, brother. You got this. Those are all his swim rats moving back and forth. He's really trying really hard to get out. Come on. Show this layers a little something so they have something to see what you're trying to do here. Come on. You got this, brother. You got this, Tyson. You're the best. You got this. Now, as you can see, he's just sitting here and he's not dead. He's completely alive. He's just trying to break out right now. He's just sitting there trying to find a way out of his shell completely. But uh, yeah, if you didn't know what was going on, it would be pretty scary to see your mantis shrimp showing these weird characteristics. It's like really, really scary. But yeah, he's good. Just get out of that shell, buddy. Get out of that shell. So as you guys can see right now, he is almost on his way out. Anytime, my brother. Come on, Tyson. The Slayers are waiting to see your brand new shell and see how much prettier you're gonna be. He's already pretty, but I cannot wait to see how much prettier he looks. Cause right now he's taking his legs out basically. Everything else is gonna be coming out and he's gonna like break and just pop out. It's gonna be so dope. I cannot wait. I wish I showed you guys when he was actually like spazzing out, trying to get out. So, all right, let's go ahead and give him a little bit more privacy and I'll check in once it's all done. Now you guys can see from above actually, he cracked the shell finally. So that is what needed to happen in order for him to completely molt and come out. So we can look in here, it's not the greatest angle, but you can kind of see right there where it broke, but yeah. Anytime now, he'll be coming out. So I'm gonna try to document this as much for you guys. It'd be pretty sweet to get it to happen right here on the channel, guys. Joey Slam, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, guys. It's sweet. We do some crazy stuff with this guy right here. Tyson, the mighty peacock mantis shrimp. Excuse my voice, I'm still a little sick. But yeah, dude, how epic, huh? Here you can see this is the new molt under there under that layer that's the new mold that is his meat and everything like that that's really soft and what's going to end up happening is once he gets out of the shell he's going to eat the shell get strong with that calcium carbonate excuse me <coughs> but yeah sweet this is going to be epic oh, 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 oh here you go he's trying to break that shell completely he just starts moving around and just hitting it against the rocks and we should be good to go so guys, it's been a couple hours now and Tyson hasn't moved. He hasn't moved at all. And unfortunately, I think he has passed, but I don't want to say that because sometimes they stay still for this for many days. And these mantis shrimp go through very hard molts, sometimes leading to death. Like legit, like your mantis will be completely fine one day, go through molt and then die. So I'm hoping that's not the case. I can't change the water or anything because mantises are very susceptible to death during water changes when they're going through molt. So let's just hope for the best that Tyson will come out running around and he's just playing dead on us right now. Whew, it'll be really sad, but hopefully he did not die and he's just going through a molt. Last time he went through all these molts, it's been fine, no issues, because he's been hiding, but this is the first time he's really out in the open like this. So all we can do is just be patient and wait. So what I've done right now, Slayers, is cover Tyson's tank with a towel. That is the best option for him to emulate that he's nice and safe. I've also added a lot of rocks and I kind of moved him. I moved him into his big old live rock so he can hide, but obviously he can't move himself. Right now he's using a lot of energy to get out of his shell. So I want to make sure that he's not completely disturbed. I disturbed him, I moved him. I don't recommend you guys do that, but I wanna make sure I can give the best possible home and maximize our chances to make sure Tyson comes out a-okay out of this. So yeah, I'm gonna be going out of town and we're gonna come back soon 
with Tyson. I can't wait to see if he's molted or we have a dead mantis. But Slayers, we must remain positive. Let's not say anything like that. Don't forget to cop your merch right here, hook360.com, link below. So Slayers, I just made it back from my trip. I had a great time. Again, I want to apologize for the lack of posting. I've been sick, but finally I'm feeling stronger and better, just like the Mighty Tyson. Now, I got to cheat. I got to cheat and take a look. Um, I was hoping to still see his exoskeleton there so I can show you guys what they look like. One with life, one without life, but he ate it. He ate it, and let's see. Look at this. Turn on this light, if I can turn this on. Dude, it's like I forgot how to work this thing. Here's blue, here's white, there he is. There he is, there is Tyson. Tyson's hiding. So I added a whole bunch of coral. Not coral, what is this? Crushed rock, crushed shells, crushed shells and stuff in here. And I added it right there. And he's hiding in here. And this is gonna be a better option for him to mow in the future. Can you come out? Tyson? Why well, you look so pissed? Look how pissed he looks. He's just not happy with it. Tyson? Tyson, hello? He's just mad. He's just so mad. He's like, you ruined my home. I like my old home. And you added all these stupid rocks. Whoa, well, you like to hide. Look, he even covered the back already. He covered the back completely. These guys are like little Bob the Builders. They're so smart. So I added a lot of rocks so he can kind of feel really safe, just like he is in the wild. So yeah, guys. He's 100% better, A-OK, -okay, living life. Come, come over here, come out. Look, he's trying to hide. He's just not happy. It's like the first time he's actually seen real light because I've had this towel on here for a couple of days now. Come over here, Tyson. The only thing that sucks now is that since there's a lot of coral, it's really dark so you can't really see him until he comes out. But, uh, but yes, Lairs. He's looking good. Look at those colors. He looks absolutely amazing. He looks great. Now, are you guys ready for some epic feedings? I won't be feeding him today. I'll be feeding him in an upcoming video. So comment below what we should go ahead and have Tyson fight. We have to make sure he has a good appetite because he just pretty much ate himself. He, he, he was over here and he was like looking dead, but he's looking great. I can't believe he played dead. Like, so you guys just have to make sure everything's A-OK -okay for your mantis good water quality and everything, and make sure he has a good environment to hide and feel safe while he moats because it takes a lot of energy. Imagine if you yourself as a human, your skin turned hard and you had to escape your own skin into your new body and have that skin get hard, which is absolutely crazy. Like I would probably not make it. I'd probably give up. I'd probably give up like, yeah, yeah. I, I'll totally give up. But Slayers, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, what you doing? Smash that subscribe button, guys. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Booyah.